Jurassic Park is a franchise that has built some pretty impressive reputations for a few dinosaurs in the public's eye. Massive theropods like the Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus, and genetic hybrid creatures like the Indominus all hold pretty special places in the fans' hearts. Whenever a big theropod gets introduced into the series, it gets more eyes on it than it normally would if it was just standing still inside of a museum somewhere. With that being said, there are a few big carnivores that haven't yet appeared in the films themselves. They have, however, had notable appearances outside of the big screen. One of these dinos is the American Hunter known as the Acrocanthosaurus. This guy has made a ton of cameos in JP material, specifically video games, for a good 20 years now. And since he just popped up in Evolution, I'd really like to go over everywhere you can find him in the past. So without further ado, this is the history of the Acrocanthosaurus in the Jurassic Park franchise. <laughs> Acrocanthosaurus made its first appearance in the 1999 fighting game titled Warpath Jurassic Park. In this PlayStation exclusive, you get to fight dinosaurs in a pretty similar style to something like Tekken. The Acro's main arena happened to be the gas station that we see the T-Rex pass through in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Now after making this appearance, the Acro would become one of the dinosaurs that was featured inside of the Jurassic Park Institute project which was a comprehensive dinosaur educational website and show in Japan. This happened to help teach children about different dinosaurs all around the world. Not too many people seem to remember this, and I might have to do a video on it sometime soon, so keep an eye out for that if it used to be something that you loved. Now, after this, we wouldn't get to see the Acro again until 2003, when it made, possibly, its most famous appearance in the park building simulator Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, in this old game, the Acrocanthosaurus has a pretty different design to what we saw in Warpath. Operation Genesis really wanted the high spines of the animal to be something of a noticeable feature in their video game, which makes complete sense once you realize that this strange spine is how the animal actually got its name in the first place. Apart from that main console release, the Acro would also pop up in the Game Boy Advance title, Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder. This game featured a pretty big variety of dinosaurs, but sadly, most of them look pretty identical during the actual gameplay. The next time we'd see it make an appearance would be far later in the early 2010s. This would be for the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder. Once again, a theme park building simulator. We seem to get quite a lot of these for some strange reason. Fortunately, this release would also come with a small dinosaur pit fighting mechanic, which means that in some strange way, you could say the Acro was actually going back to its roots for the time being. After that, a few years would pass until the next park simulator would come out. This would be Jurassic World The Game, where we would again get to see the Acrocanthosaurus in a theme park environment. Now, in this particular mobile game, the Acrocanthosaurus was yet again given a pretty different design, and it would also take part in yet another dinosaur fighting mode in a video game. Up until quite recently, this was actually the very last appearance of the Theropod in the series, but just this month, we've gotten confirmation of its appearance in another one of these theme park games. Jurassic World Evolution's Carnivore DLC happens to be our newest look at the predatory dino. In the game, we can see that just like previous releases, they've made a good emphasis on the pronounced spine that we can see on the animal's back. It also comes with some pretty familiar colors that we've seen before in the past, with a brown and tannish scheme adorning its body. And believe it or not, that's it. These are all of the appearances of the Acro in the Jurassic Park franchise as of right now. The dinosaur has uniquely only appeared in video games for some odd reason, and all of those games happen to be pretty similar when you compare them to each other, most of them being park builders. Nevertheless, it still managed to gather a pretty decent following in the fandom. So I wanted to ask you guys, what is your personal favorite appearance of the Acro so far? And what would you like to see the animal look like if it ever appeared in an actual movie? For me, I think its coolest appearance was in Warpath, but as far as what it should look like in a film, I gotta go with what they've done with it in Evolution. Operation Genesis is cool too, but the new look, it's just kinda cool in my opinion. Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and in-gen hunters as well. Just the fact that you guys watch these videos and support my content means the world to me, and I want to make sure that all of you never forget that. Now I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch today's video, and hope that you all had fun. I'll see you all in the next one guys, and as always, take it easy.